Hi everyone, I'm here through the portal to share my life review and I am coming through the portal as a individual who in my life, you know, um, had faith in humanity, in you know, the future of, of Earth, um, future generations of, you know, us creating and, and, and finding, you know, becoming more innovative in uh, evolutionary answers and, and solutions to the problems um, that we face, uh, you know, uh, as life on Earth, both on a personal as, as well as a collective level, you know, because, I mean, what I looked at maybe for some, some background, um, I uh, became someone who would, you know, unite and, and, and connect um, groups of people and uh, communities who want to start new projects, you know, in, in countries. Um, projects, you know, like in, for example, working with uh, pollution, um, uh, both, uh, you know, nature, water, um, air, and, you know, not only in the field of pollution, but also, um, you know, nature conservation and um, animal protection and oh, education. I mean, it was, you know, quite, I was quite expansive um, in, in relation to my, my process of, you know, really wanting to uh, be heard, to make an impact, uh, to promote change. Uh, which is essentially what um, my company uh, did, you know, promote change. Because you know, there was one thing that I, I realized while growing up was that, you know, I, I didn't see or notice or experience any real change happening, you know, um, in, in terms of uh, problems um, such as, you know, pollution, uh, deforestation, uh, de desertification, um, you know, in terms of realizing that, I mean, you know, we as a humanity are living on this earth, so therefore we have to tend to it, we have to take care of it. And, you know, even as a teenager, it, it perplexed me as to, you know, why more of us are not caring, you know, about Earth, about this planet, about our existence. And, I mean, you know, what really frustrated and annoyed and irritated me in my life was, you know, going to countries and, I mean, they're, they're needing help, you know. Um, here, maybe looking at dimensions of, for example, even starvation, famine, poverty. And, I mean, they're reaching out and asking for help. But, you know, we'd get there and, for example, their priorities would be completely, you know, misaligned in terms of, um, you know, not wanting to use money from, you know, their own country to find solutions or, you know, get projects moving for, you know, starvation, poverty, famine, violence, things like that, um, you know, but wanting to you know, have it either get done for free or, you know, borrowing money, but then they also don't want to borrow money for those types of things that's happening in their country. You know, they, they're more focusing on, like, their economy, their future plans for the country, um, you know, wanting to first uh, reset the upper class and middle class and you know, before looking at the lower class or even those that are not part of the classes. So, I mean, this was something um, that was shocking, you know, that countries which are basically falling apart are still trying to compete with first world countries, for example. And, I mean, I was like, you know, it, even not only in relation to their own people, this is not even talking about the environment and animals. I mean, here we must have a look at, I mean, if a country doesn't even have a regard or consideration for their people, you know, I mean, I couldn't even get in there um, in relation to any environmental 
or, or, or um, you know, um, animal consequences, preservation, uh, conservation, things like that. I mean, as I said, my line of business was more in relation to the earth, the environment, nature. But I mean, how many countries I've walked into or even communities where they don't even have a consideration or regard for their people. So, you know, I just, even in, in my life, I, um, with the challenges and the difficulties, especially when it came to money, you know, to just promote change, that change needs to happen and why? It's like something shuts down in people's minds, um, a shutting down of, I don't care, you know, it doesn't affect me, I can't see how it is affecting me right now, you know, these problems with nature, animals, earth, pollution, things like that, it's not affecting me right now, so, you know, why must I worry about it, or be concerned about it, or even invest any money in it, um, and then even trying to speak about the future, um, you know, in terms of future consequences, people still don't listen, because the only thing that they think about in the future is, uh, you know, getting their country up, um, you know, the ladder of, of, of success in terms of hierarchical structuring on a global scale and, um, you know, what investments can be made in the country to, um, you know, fuel inject itself into the world economy and, I mean, you know, there was no equal and one alignment in terms of responsibility when it comes to the country and their people. And, I mean, this is one of the the things then, you know, that I'd like to share. I mean, especially for those who are, uh, you know, working on projects when it comes to world change, where you want to affect world change. I would say one of the things that you actually need to start with is promoting change. You know, that change needs to happen. Um, it's, it's interesting that, you know, there's like so many, many mental barriers that you have to break through. And this is not only in, on a governmental level um, or a community level, it's also on a personal level within people, you know, that the majority of humanity you know, don't realize, you know, how much time and labor and effort and investment needs to be placed into... Um, you know, not only conserving, let's say, animals and nature, but we need to start like a global scale process in finding solutions for nature, animals, the atmosphere, you know, this physical existence. I mean, at the moment, everyone is maybe focusing on little small projects here and there, while still the majority of the earth is being compromised, is going through massive consequence. So one thing that I've learned from my life is personally for me, and yes, this is a process that I walked in my life review, was that on a certain level, I just lost faith in people. I got tired of trying to fight for common sense, you know. Um, so my, um, shall I say, um, bit of knowledge that I can impart in terms of what I've learned from my life is that you have to fight for common sense. <laughs> as ironic as, as it is, you've got to fight for it and you've got to keep on promoting change and the reasons for why change has to happen. And I would maybe also suggest, you know, that um, when you do become part of projects and, and things like that and you are, for example, um, promoting them on, on a governmental level or country level, and, um, you know, you are confronted with this um, t reasoning of, you know, wanting to evolve the country in a different way or different direction, more an economical or technological uh, direction, while the majority of the country's people are starving and, you know, the environment is being destroyed and annihilated kind of need to bring in a bit of common sense there, a uh, reason for why it is important to empower the people, so that the people can empower the country, so that as a unit, you know, that country can take responsibility for their environment, 
for everything and everyone within them as it you know if we look at that type of a solution or that type of a setup you know on a global scale where each country equally empowers their people people take responsibility for their environment nature the animals um, you know in education start with like implementing you know in schools a line of education on you know dependent on you know where in which country you are you accordingly get taught how to conserve your immediate environment um, how to take care of it how to tend to it how can you um, contribute to your community to your society you know instead of having the majority of children after school for example playing video games or you know on their ipads and ipods and things like that create like little groups you know where they do gardening um, planting um, how to detect and analyze or support um, the end of pollution you know there there's like so many solutions of ways that um we can support earth humanity on a global scale um we just need to find a way and maybe this is also a challenge for someone who's listening we just need to find a way where um we can change that mindset from economical and technological evolution to real humanitarian evolution all right this is my life review and and sharings um, of some things that I've realized and that I'm also asking those of you who are still on this earth who can make a difference thank you very much